Hello again. I um, want to do a really quick product review of a product I am seriously not impressed with. I bought, well, over the years I've had a lot of water brushes and I mainly use these Pentel Aquash brushes, but I was in the big box craft store, which is Hobbycraft in the UK, and they had uh, Derwent ones on offer and they were about £3 each. And I always see Derwent as a very good, respectable brand. You know, I have a lot of Derwent pencils, I have a lot of Derwent products, and I thought their water brush must be really good quality. And I really wanted this one because it's number three, which has got the chisel tip, so I thought that would be useful, because I don't really have that shape. Just show you what's wrong with it straight away. First of all, you can see the very tip. I hope you can see. Let's get some focus on that. The very tip is a bit ragged, but you can see how dark and sludgy it is right inside. That's because paint capillary actioned up under that edge and is now in there. And even when I squeeze out water now, two days later, it's still coming out stained because I can't actually clean that paint out that's gone. This section here that looks brownish green should be clear plastic. The paint has wicked under here and got into this section and I've already heard a few people on YouTube say kind of similar things and the actual fibres are not white, they're stained as well. So that's made it really impossible to use because you try and paint with a light colour and it just gets sludgy crap all over it. So I don't really know what to do with that, it's uh, really not impressed me. So quite expensive as well. Derwent, I am really disappointed because you usually make really high quality products but when every other water brush brand on the market does not do that and yours does, I can't help but be unimpressed. So that was a really really quick product review and the reason it's so quick is it's really a warning. I just wanted to let people know, steer clear of the Derwent water brushes because whilst they look great and they're clearly well made in some respects, that's a major design flaw if paint can kind of get sucked up through the fibres so that you can never actually use it again after you've used it once because it gets so full of crap. So I will be writing to Derwin and asking them to give me my money back on this because, you know, I know it was about three quid, but that's the principle of it. If more people complain, maybe they'll improve the design. And I do really feel let down by Derwin because they are usually so reliable as a company and this just seems like something really unlike them to do to put something on the market that's so absolute rubbish and I know I'm not the only person who's had this problem with it so if you bought the same product and had similar issues please please um, comment on this video or if you've had one and found it absolutely fine it was number three it was the broad tip I thought, or chisel tip I think they call it with the green number oh, let me get some focus on that with the green number three on it. If you've had that one, uh, not the one or the two, can you leave comments either way? Because if there are negative comments about it, I'll feed those over to Derwent as well on people's behalf, because that might actually kind of help the situation um, if we kind of act together, because they're more likely to change the problem if enough people um, make complaints. But there we go. So the Derwent water brush, absolute no-no. On the other hand, the Pentel Aquash, I think, are brilliant. I really can't fault them. And I actually just bought some more today because I can't find some of mine. Eleven ninety nine for a set of three. On Amazon, I can get a set of three for like seven or eight pounds, and I will link that in the product description. So that if you're after some water brushes right now, Amazon, both UK and US, have got really good deals on these at the moment if you buy them in the set of three. And I really, really love these. I have had no problems with them whatsoever. I think they're brilliant. But don't pay this kind of price for them. Buy them online, save some money. So if you're after water brushes, Pentel Aquash, you cannot go wrong with. I think they're really, really great. Um, only downside of them is that I wish that they had a stopper so that if you put them in a box or something to take on plein air, you could shrink the size down a bit but I don't find them an issue. They hold 10 millilitres, which will last you a good couple of pictures before you need to refill them. And they're pretty nice to hold. They're quite squishy, so they're not too much effort to improve the flow. And I really like them. So that is the Derwent Problem water brush versus the Pentel Aquash, which I think is really good. I'm not even gonna demonstrate them because there's very little to demonstrate apart from the fact that this one's crap. 
Um, please buy them if you're after a new water brush. Um, get the Pentel ones because they're fantastic. Thank you all very much and goodbye.